Hi everyone. Over the next uh, few sessions, we're going to be talking about stories and the, the things that go into the story mix that make us want to keep reading, that excite us as we go along and interest us. They're the things that authors are always thinking about when they're creating their stories, things like character and setting and the hook and um, the most exciting bit called the climax. So we're going to be doing that exploration of what is called the elements of a story through picture books. Um, the first one that we're going to be looking at is this one today. And uh, after I read the story, um, then you will be discussing with your teacher, whether that's me or whether it's Ms. Wardlaw, some of the different elements or parts of the story. And we're going to be starting with character because Billy the Punk is quite a character. I hope you enjoy it. It's one of my favorite books. Billy the Punk by Jessica Carroll and Craig Smith. On Saturday, Billy's mum took him to the markets. He saw punks. Big punks, little punks, fat punks, skinny punks, and he thought they were great. They were wearing ripped jeans pinned together with safety pins and torn t-shirts. They had spiky haircuts, safety pin earrings, and big old boots. On Sunday, Billy sat and thought. On Monday, he pulled out his old jeans and cut holes in them. Then he asked his mum for some safety pins. She gave him five. He stuck the safety pins through the holes and pinned them together. Billy snuck out of the house and ran to school. When Billy came home, he changed so that his mother wouldn't see him. On Tuesday, Billy found an old singlet. It was very long. He tore holes in it, then put his jeans on and headed off to school. When he got there, Billy's teacher told him to wear other clothes tomorrow. But Billy thought, no. On Wednesday morning, Billy spiked his hair up and used his sister's colored hairspray. Then he put on his jeans and singlet and went to school. When the teacher saw Billy, she was furious. He wasn't allowed to play afternoon games. On Thursday, Billy asked his father if he could have his old army boots. His father said yes. Billy put on the boots, his torn singlet and jeans, spiked his hair, and went to school. His teacher sighed and looked in the other direction. Billy didn't listen at school. He'd forgotten something about being a punk. Then he remembered. On Friday morning, Billy borrowed two safety pins from his mother. He put cotton through them and looped them over his ears. Now, when he put on his pants, singlet and boots, and spiked his hair, he looked like a real punk. When Billy arrived at school, the principal phoned Billy's dad at work, and Billy was sent home. His dad was mad. Change into your school clothes at once, he said. Billy shouted, no! On Saturday, Billy's dad took him to see the army at the barracks. He saw soldiers.
big soldiers, little soldiers, fat soldiers, Scots soldiers, and he thought they were great. The Scots soldiers were wearing kilts, sporins, berets, tartan boots, and they were carrying bagpipes. On Sunday, Billy sat and thought. On Monday, Billy asked his sister if he could borrow her tartan skirt.